Hey, this is Bobby. Um, I just wanted to show you guys this fill piece, uh, uh, wireless gauges. Um, I've had these for a few months and I just want to give you guys my opinion on them and review. Um, so one thing out of the gate that I thought was really cool about these gauges is the, uh, the blue, uh, color on the bottom for suction and red for liquid and when you switch it over it'll actually switch over to the uh the color of the suction and liquid side which i thought was really cool um so all you have to do is basically look look at it from a downward view and know where these tools go uh same for these tools and a lot of people uh will say that they don't really trust digital gauges but um side by side with analog gauges they're pretty close and sometimes the uh, digital is actually more accurate because uh, it actually has a decimal when it comes to uh, the numbers uh, so these right here uh, i like these a lot because they actually do the wet bulb dry bulb as well as return and supply um, side of the uh, temperature so basically red Red is for return, at least that's what I have it set to. Basically, you clamp it on the return on the grill, which usually the grills are made out of um, a metal that is ma magnetic, and the same for the supplies. Um, it, the supplies will be blue, and what you do is you put the blue on the supplies and the red on return, and it'll help you get your delta T. And normally what I do, um, I've been using these for cleaning checks, but I've also uh, been told that you can use these here to add refrigerant and just get a hose that has uh, a ball valve in it. And I also have this in here. I bought it, put it in there for them, uh, for the Schrader caps that, you know, you have to use these on. So let's see. Um, see so yeah, this is what I bought for the... Um, Suction side, whenever you have to add refrigerant, um, you can just put the um, suction side on this end. And if you have to add refrigerant, just put a uh, hose with the shutoff valve on it and go directly to the um, uh, cylinder and then just open and close it whenever you uh, add refrigerant to it. So basically what I do whenever I first show up is I'll bring the whole bag with me. I'll put both of these on as well as go inside and uh, put these on the return and supply. Um, and then I'll put these gauges on. And the app that's basically on your phone, uh, the JobLink app has it to where you can choose the refrigerant. I also use this other app that helps me figure out what the subcooling and superheat needs to be depending on what the metering device is. Um, so far so good I don't really use it for charging um, this side I have here for if you wanted it to use it as a low loss fitting for the liquid side for 410a refrigerant um, I also have this here to put on the liquid side as well um, but I've, here lately I've just been doing it without it because I feel like I've uh, gotten to a point where I don't have to have to use them anymore but I do I do like them one thing that I mainly use these for is for uh for cleaning checks as well as uh today i had a double cleaning check i used my gauges my digital gauges the s man 380 i believe i'll do a video on that here later but basically i put both of them on i put these on as well as the s man on the other one because it was a two system cleaning check and um basically had them side by side to where i could uh basically do two, two systems at once, uh, check the temperatures and all that. Um, but normally I would just use these by themselves for a cleaning check. Um, and uh, it's helped me out a lot. Uh, gives me the uh, Delta T as well as the temperatures and stuff. And on the app itself, it does have like at the bottom of it, if there is any issues, I'll tell you in the app and tell you what it could be. Um, sorry, I don't have like the video of the uh, app and showing what the uh, uh, temperatures and pressures and all that. I don't have that on my phone available. So, but uh, uh, for a service guy who uh, who does this and knows about refrigerant and all that, um, you'll basically uh, know what the numbers are whenever you open up the app and, and see everything, which I think is pretty cool. 
And one thing about these uh, digital versus analog is it, it kind of um, gets rid of the math when it comes to finding out the superheat and subcooling. Uh, that's one thing that I really like about the digital gauges. Uh, it's a lot faster um, when it comes to determining your superheat and subcooling. Um, and the, the better you invest in tools, the quicker you'll be. Um, you just got to learn how to trust them. And um, uh, so far, so good. Everything's been working out as far as using these digital, uh, digital, uh, digital gauges uh, or probes or whatever you want to call them. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, I guess uh, a few months after owning this, what I've used them on, uh, what I've learned. Uh, one thing that one con that I learned was whenever I put these in the house and put these on the uh, unit, sometimes I'll lose connection. So whenever I walk outside and I'm closer to, uh, these, that's whenever I'll read, uh, the temperatures and everything. But whenever I walk inside, sometimes uh, I'll lose these, uh, readings and gain these readings. Um, but one good thing about having these gauges is that if your metering device is, is not too far away, you can actually adjust the TXV, uh, without having to go outside and read the, the temperatures and the pressures because they'll be on your phone and while you're adjusting it'll actually uh, It'll actually change and you can see whether you need to tighten it or loosen it for an adjustable TXV uh, All right guys, sorry. I've been rambling on uh, I'm all over the place, but uh, I would recommend these if you uh, basically for cleaning checks if you uh, just wanted something a little lighter than uh, the normal digital gauges or you know if you wanted to appear more high-tech I would recommend these um, so yeah have an awesome day uh, I'll give you uh, uh, hit the notification button so you can get my next video and have a good one all right see you